Okay, so here are seven general tips for assembling your Digital Duds costume. Uh, first one, airplane mode's a good idea, not only would it save battery, but let's face it, this just isn't very intimidating. You'll want to adjust the brightness. If you're outside, brightness should go up. If you're at like a dark party, turn it down. It just looks better that way. So this one's really important, the taping. If you tape it bad, you can see the phone edges. So if you use about four strips, like I showed there, then turn it over and you basically create like a moat around it. I'm using red duct tape just so you can see it well, but basically it's like half a strip of tape, so it's like an inch wide or something, and make a border all around the phone. So that's sticky side down, right? So in other words, that area right around the phone isn't sticky. Uh, and then once you do that, you can flip it over, you know, generally line it up, peek under it and kind of get it in the right direction and then push it down all around on the edges. That will give you a really good attachment and as you can see here, it's virtually impossible to tell that there's even a phone in there. So this, along with the other one, if you don't get it lined up, that's okay. For almost all the animations, when you hold your finger down, a little red thing comes up. And that tells you where it should be in relation to the cutout. So kind of do one finger, then do the other, and kind of adjust till yeah, they both look right and they're in the right spot. Uh, this one's simple. Cuticle scissors just tend to work really well. And masking tape is also not a bad idea for some devices. There's residue left with the duct tape, so masking tape takes care of that. You just put a layer on first. And this one's not necessary, but if you want a, just a little bit more reinforced look so it doesn't kind of come up on the edges when you cut it out, if you put a layer of duct tape down first and then cut it out, that'll help with that.